Listen, don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, submit yourself to God. Because where you are right now, you can't see things clearly, not objectively, because of all the the pain, the anxiety, the stress, the fear, the lies of Satan, you can't see things objectively. And yes, the future is unknown, but you know God who knows the future and who controls it. And if the future is not your problem, if you're looking behind you, it doesn't matter what caused this situation that you are in. Money, health, pills, addiction, divorce, loneliness, or fear. Let me tell you from personal experience, don't limit God because He can turn your mess into a testimony. Never ever put a limit on Him because He is almighty. He created the whole world, the universe, and He sustains it. And even though He's that big, that powerful, almighty God, He still loves you and cares for you. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. Let me ask you a question. Why are you fighting this battle on your own? Why don't you trust God? Because we know if you doubt the future, if you doubt your situation, if you doubt things that will happen, that means you don't trust God. You don't trust His Word. Where does this doubt come from? It comes from your own feelings, the things, the thoughts in your head, and sometimes it comes from the devil, attacks from him, making you doubt God. And you know He's the only one that can actually help you. The only one that stays the same. If you always doubt God, if you listen to Satan, his lies, because he's a father of lies, then you will always feel lost. James 1 verse 6 says, But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Ask yourself and be honest, what is stopping you from trusting God? Where does this doubt come from? We know doubt comes from not trusting God and believing the lies of Satan. Why do you doubt God? Is it because of fear? Fear for other people? Fear for the unknown future? Well, fear does not come from God. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Everything might feel out of control to you at this moment, and you might feel there's no way that I can continue on living. Well, this verse says that you have self-control through the Spirit and power. There's no fear if you live in the Spirit. You have fear, you have doubts because you live in the flesh, in your own head, your own emotions, your intellect, your own will. And you need to learn to adjust, to move this all away, all the lies. And you need to cling on to the Holy Spirit that is in you and let Him lead you forward to fight, to fight those lies in your head. Because those lies, they come from the evil one, from darkness. And it's those lies, those thoughts that wants to kill you. James 4 verse 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Take my life